plan. I need a girl like you living in the promised land. You have a vision and you understand. A life well lived is at your command. So I'll share your life's chronology that I'll recite now in rapology. The love you share with us all holds the key. You are the heart of the family tree. Everyone, you are the heart of the family tree. You are the heart of the family tree. The first grandchild of a new generation, so they showered you with their adoration. A confident redhead sensation. You remember the depression and some deprivation, but your mother, a nanny, gave you hope and inspiration. Your mother, a nanny, gave you hope and inspiration. Tell the story now, decade by decade. Everybody, put your hands together. In the Brooklyn Public Library, you found the books that set your mind free to dream about what you want to be. It was your Uncle Sam that helped you see that at Brooklyn College you were meant to be. Maybe work someday in your own library, a college degree you would soon be earning, the beginning of your lifelong learning. At a cat school's pool, your life new started, then the war for the Pacific that departed. While you went to work for the Manhattan Project, as a secretary, did you help make the bomb? The dad had an Enola Gay on Tinny and trying to stay calm. It's a true story. All top secret, you were trying not to blow it. You were making history, but you did not know it. You were making history, but you did not know it. When he returned, you headed to the hills. To your Borscht Belt dreams in the Catskills. It was the village of Monticello. You seemed to be the most happy fella. Cause you never had to sing a cappella when dad was playing on the piano, it was easy for you to be a soprano. You then became the mayor's wife. As a first lady, you brought Monticello to life. Planted the trees for beautification. Urban renewal was sweeping the nation. You brought art shows, speakers, and cultured conversation. You brought the town a new civilization. You brought the town a new civilization. But it was at Woodstock that you awoke to the pleasure of being stolen from secondhand smoke. It's a true story. It's a true story. She'll tell that story later. With blood, sweat, and tears, when you were backstage, you realized the power of this new age. You embraced the dawn of Aquarius, even if it was a bit vicarious. Picture you at Woodstock, now that was freaking hilarious. Sing and show tunes, ultimate Sondheim groupie. You read four books a week, watch a couple of movies. Book groups, friends, and some daily swimming. With happy hours, your life is brimming. Just stop by around four, you'll be in luck. Well, that's if you like to drink. Three buck chunk. <laughs> now your passion for Israel continues to burn. For peace in the Mideast, you still gently earn. Well, your father left for Europe, did he make a wrong turn? Well, you question and read and you try to go figure. Your political insight grows even bigger. Trying to figure out while the world's confusing. The pro go deeper, you are always choosing. In search of knowledge, your mind is discerning. To understand the world, you keep on yearning. We all learn from your passion for learning. From substitute teaching in Monticello, to taking classes with Saul Bellow. With Ellie Wiesel about the Warsaw Ghetto, your lessons learned continue to echo. It's all true. Now on the internet, she is so connected. Even if your skills are not perfected, no mom, your computer is not affected. Even though your keyboard is somewhat neglected. Mom, please, here, protect, select it. Stay calm. Now please don't do this in haste. There's no print cartridge now, your paper's a waste. Will someone please show her how to cut the paste? If you're a grandchild of Rita Garlic and have helped her cut and paste, please raise your hand. <laughs> Sorry, we're not done yet. Just gotta do a little more music. Gotta look back to myself.